Hey guys, this is me. This is Battle Against the Diesel, some numbers. And he leaves with a fortress which was the bane of my existence this whole match. You'll see, I taunt it when I feel really good about myself going to base, turn the overheat. I just go for the overheat against the spare tomb to do some damage. But it misses because, yeah. It starts setting up on me. I go into my Togo Kiss. And I do not want this thing to, re to rate my whole team, so I'm gonna trick it. Mess up whatever little plan it has going on. He goes straight for the hidden power fighting. I'm assuming it's fighting because that makes sense. Doesn't do too much by going to Venus Star to completely wall it. Yeah. I got the leech seed up on it, he just saves him. Probably consigning it to death at this point. And wants to see what my Venusaur is going to do. Or maybe he wants me to put it to sleep so he can fodder that. But I'm not going to do that. I try to sub up. Expect him to switch at any point? No. But he's just waiting me out. No, he switches. Goes into this dactyl as I sludge bomb it. It's not going to do that much. And he firefighter. As I leap to. And now he does. This is a really good play. He goes back into the sport just because he obviously really wants to set up his crap. And it obviously worked really well, as you will see by the end of this match. So he gets those up, and I just have to keep trying to overheat that thing. I mean, it's obvious, he's obviously going to switch, but I don't exactly have anything better to do with it. If I go into Amicom, the taunt is just as obvious, so what's the point? And then he can gyro bomb me or something. So yeah, switching games going on, blah blah blah. I knew he was going to switch into that Aerodactyl, that's why I went into Venusaur, I guess. Just try to put it to sleep. And that works out, but Venusaur is not in a good position now. And he goes into this thing using as an opportunity to set up more of his crap. <laughs> and I'm really wishing I brought a spinner with me. And I think I will do more of that in future magic. Because a good player with a Pokemon like this that can set up. All these entry hazards can just destroy a team that's not ready for it. And he is a good player. And yeah, he knows what he's doing. All I can really do is keep threatening that thing. I can't do anything else with it. And he's just, you know, sacrificing his little crippled spirit room. I knew he was going to switch so I went for the Thunder Punch and that works out really well because he went to try to burn turns with his Aerodactyl probably expecting more overheat now he has an Amicom of his own and so I come to that with Glacier I believe I just go for the Earthquake here hit this I thought he would switch back into this I think but I'm not sure I didn't act on it well enough. I life. Anyway, I thought I'd take this opportunity as he sets up his crap, which I just resigned myself to. To go into Kyoshin and try to set myself up for some rain out sweepage. But he doesn't have any of that. Boom. Dead. No more. So he gets like a million entry hazards up, I lose a Kingdra, and that fortress has just, just done its job very, very well. Goes into Amipom, which is an extremely good play, and I should have seen it coming. But I went sent him to base, because I, I guess I just totally forgot about the Amipom. I should have sent him Glaive for somebody. And I really couldn't switch base in and out anymore with all those entry hazards. So I just decided to let it go. Figured I needed it less at this point than I ever done before. Going to Glacier, I, I knew he was going to switch out into the Spiritomb. 
And I just wanted to get rid of it really. So I go from the earthquake. And that will get rid of it. And all comes this. I did not want to see this. I've got nothing really to say. Take it psychic. I kinda I fought her token kiss. Cause I can't fight her Glaze score because I need Glaze score to counter the army bomb. As best as it can now with the, with the stuff drops. I'm not going to Ambi Pond to obviously throw him that with some fake action. And then this thing comes in. Ugh. And so I switch up because I'm thinking it's faster than me. I am in some kind of physical move. Going to Glay Score. You'll see by the end of the match that I probably should have stayed in it and tried to return it. Because it turned out that it was actually really bulky and I outsped it, I think. If I remember correctly. Stone is just less than half, so that's a failed empty prize. Because he can just stall me out with his toxic. So yeah, I just drop going to my Venusaur. Which gets owned by the entry hazards. Super Fangs. And I try to go for my sleep powder, but it has taunt. And that just destroys me, and sorry, I can't do anything anymore. All it, the only move I can use is sludge bomb. Which obviously won't do anything to this damn bat. But it's only attacking move is super fine. So it can't knock me out and it can't poison me. So this is a complete deadlock. He really can't knock me out. It'll have to go down to struggling if he stays in. And I'm not going to switch out because I can't come back in because of all the entry hazards he set up. So I'm just going to stay in here and sludge bomb until he switches or makes me struggle. <laughs> He's faster than me so he can set up the taunt. It's not like I can predict when the, t the turn the taunt's going to end. Because it ends at the end of the turn and then he can taunt me at the beginning of the next turn. But he gets fed up so he's still into his army palm and takes the sludge bomb. So I'm gonna fake on tape meal, but what else am I gonna do, huh? I want more life. Fuck. Finish me off with the pursuit. And he's late for which is very good. Send in my palm. I know he's gonna switch out into his crowbat. So this is a very key kid because I taunted instead of attacking. Because I know that the only attack that crowbat has is super van. So it can't knock me out if it's taunted. I can only knock myself out. And here's where I see that I'm faster than it. So I should have stayed in in the first place. But yeah, I can return that thing to death now because it can't do anything except super fighting me. And now he goes into this thing. It's faster than me so it's scarfed. And yeah. It's just gonna sweep me. So that was a really good game, the Diesel, some numbers, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but Diesel will do it. Thanks for watching everyone, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, goodbye.